go to the setup list that's your setup list so hopefully you can see and then go to the reverse and then do the pitch reverse see here on the my hand is pitch and you can do the reverse okay now I'll go back so go back again for you guys um, put this one down see if I put this down this going down and my next one is getting up okay so this is up now I can put down going down up now see this is the most important part oops sorry guys uh, my camera battery is getting down I'll be back okay recharge sorry guys uh, I was running out of my camera battery but yep yeah. so see is um, we were um, see hang on they're supposed to be I'll just try to keep together so you can understand so see this one here 90 I mean on the middle so now if I put my elevator I mean this one left it should go left down and the other one is goes up so what I did it with the pitch pitch servo is on this side I just reverse so that's the moment is fine all right you can see it you can have a look I'm sure you can feel it push this my left as goes down my right is goes up okay like a little bit painful we were in the swast split I'm right and uh, see if you put in the middle this is all 90 degree we left there around all right so make sure this all 90 degree and uh, after this 90 degree now see your throttle in the middle because we're doing the 3d this is my little bit down but watch this one I'm going to open and put up and then we'll get quite right but yeah we'll do later one that one but the question see this we working on these three we're doing on elevator and this is your uh, pay ah, come on aileron and this is your backside in the pitch so you can see we're working on this so from middle if we push the how the CPM work if you, if I push the throttle all three goes up so we get positive when I put three down it should get negative so if I look if I pose have a look you can see the our elevator is going down all right and this two goes up watch and when I put down this two go down this is going up that's not right that's we need to fix this one but if you have a, that kind of the radio we will help so always remember don't get confused always leave your throttle on the middle okay see this is working so how you fix these things very very simple way you guys fix it watch if I push this goes down this goes up but go too alright if you have this kind of radio is easy to fix first what you do go in the radio I'll just put this one back so you can see in my radio I'll just put a little bit up try guys myself do everything is not easy okay this this is there you go to the setup setup list and then you go to reverse and what you go to do you should reverse your elevator okay now we did the reverse go back all right now you did reverse and then if we go back watch still always leave on the middle you push up 
all right see this three goes up can you see this or oh, we'll just try to put more because I will, oh, don't worry I'm gonna drop okay I'll try to show everything as possible okay see this my three so one two and three on the back so watch in the middle if you push up all three goes up when I push back all three comes down so that's now source plate is fixed but you get trouble with your elevator because we reverse the elevator so when you reverse the elevator so you can when you push now your elevator to move your heli up should go up but it will go down watch I hope you can see it a little bit I just try my best to give you guys good shot right see this one here oh, come on or I'll leave like that okay see if I push this one see so we reverse that one so now oops what the hell what I did it reverse this one so it's not going hang on did I reverse it just let no sorry yes here we go I need to get out of there so keep a reverse okay get out I'm just stuck here guys sorry okay keep reverse so you can see all three goes up three goes down all right so that's fine when you reverse your uh, elevator now will be problem because we reverse the elevator so when you push uh, your elevator up you can see it it should go up but it should go down I think it should go up see that's the wrong way so how you can fix the fix these things very simple guys watch all right I'll just leave everything so you can see the earth you go to here and you go to swas split mix now I put everything 60 60 60 so see is all in plus one two three now what we go do elevator what are you going to do okay how you fix this thing so try to get everything for you okay what do you do see I live like that so hopefully it's in so you go to the I'm using elevator so go and select and put this one on the top you can see is minus all right and try to get exactly minus 60 watch so push on the top this throttle I mean elevator and go to the minus 60 so 55 60 and 58 so now I revo see so I put here um, in minus 60 elevator because after I fix my uh, swas, I mean throttle swas not going up then I put the minus so when I put in the minus what it does it change the direction of your servo so watch if I push this again it should go up watch here we go so that's the right way so push up and push down so that's the way is a CC PM setting because I'm doing only three servos so is make you very understand so it's fully set up now so fully set up means watch here if I put hang on get, if I push I'm from the middle this goes all three up come on the middle push down all three goes down if I push left this need to go down P zero goes to up oops that's sorry this one here okay this one if I push that one is supposed to go down watch and I push this way it's supposed to go up and same with with here same if I put this one 
put there for you guys. So if I push this one, so this goes down and piece servos needs to go up. So remember, in, see my back in hand, supposed to up. All right. So that's called CCPM setup, guys. And uh, now, see in the middle, I put my throttle in the middle. You can see here my my saw split is not 90 angle because this is, is down down so what I'm going to do at the moment I can also you can see here it's a little bit down because I trimmed a lot so what are we going to do I put this one get out there and then I go to sub trim into the um i got you guys use a trim but but i can do my in transmitter sub trim so i'll go to sub trim and goes to uh come on sub trim and i go to elevator because it's a low battery again and i will just move see how it goes put up make 90 unless I'm happy with that here we go guys so you can see I put the 90 degree and ah oh, headache I'll be back sorry sorry guys I just back so <laughs> my transmitter you know sometime when these things happen so don't worry so here we go hang on yep so you can see I set up the one as 90 and I just sub trim to bring this one back and it's still my thing is so when I sub trim this one is coming the 90 and you can see my swast plate uh, looking amazingly fine but I believe a little bit check it out this way and uh, all right so that's the good though you can see it you know so this all look for me fine you can see this both side and pitch is a little bit high but I can fix it with the my pitch trim but yeah and then you can I can use my transmitter to just check around have a look down down up wow down it's all working you can see I'll show you watch after 50 up all oops you can't see all right yeah see up uh, on the middle all on middle because and then it's the negative here is all come down then you can push this one up see throw goes up and this is down now so this is a kind of but in the 3d you need a lot of throw so still you have to at the moment see you have to go to the if you want to so much throw and so much moment you need it in the 3d so what you do you go into to your settings and go to swast split mix here we go you can see you can go to the swast place mix so always remember do not play with these things if you don't know all right so if you want to more throw more moment you just push this one in the plus okay just like my is a 60 you can do 100 it goes to 100 125 so it'll give you quick moment more moment more more curve but i like to keep my 60 so i just leave in the kick 60 at this stage so you can do more you just play with this transmitter and it's amazing so this is your at the moment i try to teach you the cppm setup for this heli and uh, as all format any transmitter you have it, it will be the same format to do it so that's the three this one so this, this setup has been done with your my transmitter now the next video i'm going to do for you get rid of this thing so you can see a little bit and i will do my little bit tidy up uh, how to set up uh, tail servo and uh, 
Zyro. Zyro is a little bit difficult guys because I got some cheap Zyros and I have to set up with the uh, sticks. Stick with my transmitter but you can buy some I'll just put the link or I'll show in the photo which easiest setup for do it all right it's a tricky because you can choose your own gyro but it's all works same way so then we do the tail servo and gyro and then I back to the pitch and then we fly and see how it goes hey thank you for the watching